This is a collection of art, of madness, of brilliance. This is a collection of pornography. This is a collection of Lanciers. But this, annoyingly, is the Lancia people remember best of all, the Beta. It was made from steel so thin that on a windy day it would actually change shape. And it wasn't much cop in the rain either. I mean, this was fine yesterday, but then this morning we had a bit of a shower and now look at it. The fact is, though, that all Lanciers had problems. The Gamma, for instance, exploded every time you turned the steering wheel. And then there was the Fulvia. It is a fantastic little car, this. It's like driving a Rorty Sorbet. With its clever V4 engine, a Fulvia was actually the first Lancia to win the World Rally Championship. The thing is, though, when all is said and done, it was a very small 1.3-litre front-wheel drive two-door saloon car. But it cost, when it was new, more than an E-Type Jaguar. We forgave the Fulvia its silly price tag, though, because of what made it great. The same thing that made almost all Lanciers great, the way it looked. It really is as pretty as the sun setting over Charlie's Theron. And then there was the Monte Carlo. This was a wonderful car, a mid-engined mini Ferrari. But because it was actually a Lancia, the things that were right were balanced out by the things that were wrong. If you so much as looked at the middle pedal, the brakes would lock up and you'd crash into a tree. Lancia took the thing very seriously, so much so that they stopped production for two years whilst they looked for a solution. And they found one. What they did was remove the brake servo. So then it had no brakes at all. And... The Monte Carlo, then, was quite dangerous. But in that Lancia way, it was so pretty, I wanted one more than I wanted my next breath. Sometimes, though, Lancia's lunacy did produce results. Did you know Lancia was the first car company ever to sell a car with a monocoque? They were the first to offer a five-speed gearbox. First to ever sell a car with supercharging and turbocharging on the same engine. First to sell a car, road car, with a V6 engine. First to sell a car with an electric boot spoiler. So they did all these significant mechanical firsts, yeah. and yet still, if you say to anyone, Lance, yeah, they just snigger and sell, they just fall apart. I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Holy moly! Does the bumper come off? Is that what it I was? I believe it has, yes. You need to define greatness, and that's the important thing. And just because something's unreliable, well, doesn't mean it isn't great. Stephen Hawkins, great bloke, even though a lot of him doesn't work. Yeah, I wouldn't break it to him like that. No, but that's sweet. But the principle stands, yeah, it does. Meryl Streep. Everybody says she's a great actress. And then she goes and appears in Mamma Mia, the worst film ever made. But by... she's still a great actress. She's still a great actress. Have you seen Mamma Mia? Yes, I have. You big girl. To prove that even the tattiest Lancia is tougher than you might think, we have bought this 1982 HPE. And I shall now drive it non-stop through the night on a rough rally stage. And I shall be racing. No, not racing. Been told about that. Dangerous. Um, driving at the same time on the same track in a similar vintage car. This, Morris Marina. Right, Hammond, winner. Last one still running. Yep, fair enough. Let's do it!
This is not a promising start in dispelling the myth that Lancers weren't very good. Yes! Never doubted it. Obviously, the marina won't work because these vile, hateful things are hopeless. Now, you might be saying, oh, it's a Morris Marina, a piano's going to fall on it. <laughs> yeah, the more eagle-eyed viewer may have spotted. I've taken the precaution of buying a marina that's already had a piano lamp on it. So, job done. Since we were doing serious research, we'd agreed that there would be no childish racing. Don't hit Hammond. I've hit Hammond. Oh, that's OK, that's OK. Proving what a fine and strong breed of car the Lancia always was. For hour after hour, we continued to not race round the rally stage. It's now, as you can see, pretty close to dark. Still, literally no faults to report, absolutely none. Eventually, after not racing some more... Come on! ..the marina began to pull ahead. It is, of course, a well-known fact that a piano on the roof aids traction using more speed on a rally special stage. But then, predictably, it broke down. So I went to get some tools to try and fix it. There he is, it's Hammond! He's out! He's down! <laughs> the Lancia soldiered on alone. But then I got a warning light. Literally. Oh no, it's... Yes, look! I can't see through the flames! I've got to blow this out some. Oh, God. Maybe if I sped up, like in Memphis Bell. Come on! No, that's not working. I can't see anything! No matter, though, because here's proof that Lanciers are tough and strong and dependable. Quite bad now. 